Animal Crossing Pocket Camp on smart devices is of course still going strong five years on. But something pretty big is affecting the gaming industry right now in Austria, and if the history of Animal Crossing is anything to go by, Pocket Camp could be in trouble, and could potentially be banned or removed from the app stores altogether, at least in parts of Europe. Now something pretty significant has just happened in Austria surrounding Sony and FIFA. Don't worry, this will completely loop back round to Animal Crossing, I promise, just bear with me. In the last couple of weeks, in a case against Sony regarding FIFA, courts have decided that loot boxes in one form or another violate gambling laws in Austria. This is essentially because in certain instances, players are of course paying for random drops and not necessarily knowing the outcome or what they're actually purchasing. Specifically, I believe where certain rewards hold a monetary value and therefore almost certainly falls under the gambling umbrella. Anyway, the court ruled in favour of FIFA players and to cut a long story short, have ordered Sony, the platform rather than EA, the publishers of FIFA, to pay out these claims and pay back loot box charges to the players. It's a pretty complex issue, so if you want to learn more about that specific case, definitely Google it. Now, despite the specific case affecting FIFA and PlayStation, it's likely going to have an impact on loot boxes and gaming in general, as it set a new precedent in Austria surrounding this type of monetization. Anyway, I'm sure you know where I'm going with this, but Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, which is still played by millions all around the world, includes a loot box mechanic very similar to this. If you head to the marketplace in Pocket Camp, you can of course spend leaf tickets, which is Pocket Camp's premium currency on a fortune cookie, which once opened awards a random item. In many instances, players can even spend real life money to obtain these fortune cookies. Now, whether or not new laws come in because of the Sony case to prevent this type of monetization surrounding loot boxes and alleged gambling violations is likely to become a bigger issue in Austria and surrounding regions and create a bit of a grey area for games like Pocket Camp. And I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo are already looking into this further. With this in mind, there's every possibility that Pocket Camp or any game that includes gacha mechanics or loot boxes like fortune cookies could be banned in European regions. And even if they don't, Nintendo could decide they don't want to risk it and pull the game down anyway and remove it from app stores. Now I know what you're thinking, this is all speculation, I'm jumping to conclusions and leaping to the worst case scenario. Now whilst I am speculating here, we have seen this exact situation occur in the past in Belgium in 2019, again in Europe, when Nintendo literally removed both Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and Fire Emblem Heroes from the app stores in that region. This happened when Belgium introduced anti-gambling laws, creating a grey area for loot boxes in video games, and then led to new laws being passed that banned loot boxes altogether in video games. Interestingly enough, Belgium's governing bodies at the time also ordered the likes of FIFA to remove loot boxes from their games in that region, which I believe they did with the understanding that if they didn't, they'd face millions in fines and even prison time. However, even now Animal Crossing Pocket Camp can't be downloaded or played legitimately in Belgium and some neighbouring countries, and rather than removing the fortune cookies when this happened in 2019, Nintendo removed the entire game. So with new headlines surrounding loot boxes in Austria, with all eyes on loot boxes in a new region, and the likelihood of new laws coming in, it's possible it's only a matter of time until history History literally repeats itself four years later in another European country and Pocket Camp is removed. Of course this is a worst case scenario, there's every chance Nintendo would simply remove fortune cookies this time around rather than the whole game, especially now the game introduces even more monetization models, but who knows, maybe this particular issue starts and ends on PlayStation and Pocket Camp continues to thrive. But what do you think, let me know in the comments and be sure to include whether or not you agree with loot boxes in games. I'd love to know. Thank you to the patrons and channel members for supporting this content and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.